I'm Henry of blueheronarts.com. Now I'm going to make a special name chop for Lam Lai. Lam Lai is a Vietnamese name. Um, the last name is Lai, pronounced L E Y. The Chinese character I checked on Google is uh, this one. Um, we pronounce it as a D. And uh, the first name, or artist's name, she likes to use is this phrase, uh, life dust, or dust, uh, uh, dust life, life of dust. So we discussed uh, the translation of this term. Uh, in Chinese, we have a term called chu uh, chen, means out of dust which is a very nice and direct translation. Out of dust is, is implicate life out of dust already. And uh, also uh, it has good uh, artistic meaning. You get uh, into the artist world, it's out of the um, normal world. You know. Let me uh, write this uh, in the seal script so you can see the evolution of Chinese characters. Uh, so the first name is Li. Uh, it derived from this uh, uh, pictograph. Let me write it in the old script. On the right hand side is this uh, uh, tool, and uh, it's the tool you use to the plow the, the field. And on the field is this. Uh, uh, this minute, the plant, you know, minute. So the this is the family name, and uh, the second character, Chu, means uh, out. It it derived from this uh, pictograph. This is the pit or the hut uh, where the people live, and uh, this is the foot. You know, this uh, it's like the. You can go also this way, the the toe and the you know the let me make it a little better so you can see and this is the pit. So this is a um a pictograph meaning to go out to go out, out of out of the home. Um in the out of some something somewhere. So this is third character is uh uh, ten, ten is dust, and it very actually um, there's a simplified form. Uh, if I write in the contemporary Chinese, it means uh, small earth, a small soil. Actually, this is only the lower part. The upper part is used to be uh, a deer, deer, the animal. You know the deer. Uh, let me see. Something like that, with a big eye, you know, and then that are simplified as uh, something like that, and then this this little little earth underneath the raining deer means dust. So that's where the um, the word uh, dust comes from. So. We still have this. Uh, we only use the this part today in simplified Chinese, but in the uh, traditional Chinese, you still write this way. The dust under the deer. So Li um, Chu Chen. This last character is in meaning seal. And this are the computer generated images. So in the beginning, I show you the. Previews, I use font, then I use uh, uh, mouse to create the more kind of uh, real uh, design on the stone with the uh, old stone uh, look. Now, this is the stone I'm going to use. Uh, it's a very special stone, has a sculpture, a sculpture on the top. So I put it on this uh, stable base called the sealed bed. Now I'm going to start carving.
this is called the, the yang or the positive carving style. So we cut out the background and leave the strokes in solid or red when, when we stand it. Don't doesn't make that noise when it's on the bed, you know. It's kind of quiet. So some part of the character um, attached the, the to the to the margin. So this is a uh, on purpose to create a more interesting feel like the old ancient uh, seal does. It's also part of the consideration in design that we merge the stroke with the margin or borrow the, what is the term, borrow the margin for the stroke. The design was transferred onto the stone with uh, the Xerox, uh, actually the toner print copy. So we don't need to trace it with a brush anymore with this modern technologies. So I can do exactly as designed. This stone is called the Baling stone. It's a very soft, fine stone. Soap stone, what do you call it? It's kind of hard to turn the stone on this uh, tool, so I normally hold it in the hand. Maybe I should use a smaller knife to do this uh, detailed part. I have to sometimes cover it based on my feel. Even though I use uh, really glass. So you have to know how to write it with basically so you don't rely on the design only.
just like calligraphy, when we have uh, parallel lines, we need to, to make it uh, uh, are different uh, with uh, uh, variations. So they're not the same in terms of distance, the, the thickness, or the length. The last character ten uh, dust. There's a lot of strokes here. What I do is I do all the uh, one direction and then change the direction to do the other side. Sometimes I just knock it, but since I will plan it, why don't I just, you know, make it out like it has naturally happened? It's a very challenging part is to make everything natural, but actually you plan, you made it effortlessly. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. Let's do a little bit uh, uh, polishing and then we will make our first imprint soon. Now let's make a first imprint, see how close to the original design idea. Oops, I moved a little bit. Not too bad, let me make a clear one. Very good. Okay. Um, this one was designed not to connect it, but uh, it looks nice, so I just leave it. And uh, just uh, clean up a little bit. a little bit uh, uh, rounder on this corner, on this side. Take a little bit out. And also on this side. facing the user is the orientation. These two strokes are not supposed to be connected in the writing, so I take that out. like the connection between these two characters, truth and the uh, out uh, dust, out of dust. Um, just I leave that to this compared to the original one. This gives more division of the space, which is nice. Other than that, I don't see much uh, work needed. Um, Uh, 
can do a bit of longer here. Now we can make an official imprint. And now we can make an official imprint on this uh, special oven leaf paper. This is a very thin rice paper, so it will make a very detailed copy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Len, for your commissioning of uh, doing this uh, name chart. And uh, thank everybody for watching. If you have a need for a mood seal or name seal, please go to my website. Uh, place your order. Thank you. Goodbye.